to my channel Glow with Candace, and if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to see you back. So hit the subscribe button down below to see future videos like this and more by me. And don't forget, hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified for any future uploads of mine. Today, I wanted to show you guys how I got this makeup look that I feel like could be an everyday look for a lot of people. And it's kind of like this neutral, kind of mauve look that could go with a lot of different outfits. So I just want to show you guys how I got this eye look, how I do my makeup today, and share with you. I love to put my makeup on when I'm wearing a robe, drinking some coffee or some tea, in my one of my favorite mugs, Husky Mom. Because I have three Siberian Huskies and we also have a yellow lab, so we have a full house, but this is definitely the definition of my life. <laughs> The very first step in my makeup routine is doing my eyeshadow. That is just because if I have fallout, I don't wanna screw up my foundation that I just did. So I always like to do this first and that way I don't have to worry about being messy. For priming my eyes, lately I've just been using concealer because it just seems to work best. I haven't really found an eyeshadow primer that I'm just in love with. Today, the concealer I'm going to be using is from Too Faced and it is the Born This Way Concealer. I have this in Cloud and I also have it in Swan. Um, I purchased Swan first, thinking that would be the correct shade, but it's a little too dark for me on my unself tan skin. Um, I feel like Cloud is a little bit closer. Today I'm gonna to be using a swan on my eyes because that's gonna be covered up with the makeup so it doesn't matter if it's a little dark. Now that I have my concealer on, I want to set the concealer on my eyes, so I'm gonna be using a setting powder, also from Too Faced, the Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I love this stuff, especially if you're oily skin like me. And I'm just gonna go in with a powder brush. The eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using today is probably one of my favorites and it's super affordable for all. It is from ColourPop and it's the Blush Crush eyeshadow palette. This palette also brings back a lot of nostalgia for me because I bought this right before like right around the time I was getting ready to get married and um, you know all of that a few years back. So I love this eyeshadow palette. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like these colors are perfect for everyday looks um, and also just give you that classic look as well. This palette is probably one of my top five favorite palettes and so I'm really excited to be using it today to show you an everyday look. And also, I mean, it's super affordable. Speaking of which, I'm gonna leave links down below in the description and also prices of all these products that I'm using today. So if you're curious and wanna go check them out, you can. So today I'm gonna be using brushes for my BH Cosmetics Brunch Brush Collection. These are stained, they are clean with my handy dandy tool that I use. Um, I love this thing, it is perfect for doing eyeshadow looks and of course blush and bronzer. So I'll leave the link up above here if you're curious about how this tool works. But just know I'm gonna be using this in between doing all my different colors with my eyeshadow look. So my brushes will be cleaned off, they are just stained, so make note of that. And like I said, this brush is really stained because I have some really pigmented eyeshadows, but it is cleaned off. I'm gonna be going in with Love Sick over here and just putting it all over the eyelid. Next, I'm gonna go on with Cheek to Cheek, which is this color over here, and I'm gonna go towards the outer portion of my eyelid and then blend it outward to my upper eye. I'm gonna go in with a finer blending brush and go in with 
blush wine over here and kind of go out towards the crease here to get up a little bit of a darker color um, to give a little bit of a smoky look. Now I'm gonna go in with Made You Blush here with a more flattened brush and, and go into the center of my eyelid. Now I'm gonna go in with Pop a Bottle here and go into the inner corners of my eye. Next, I'm gonna be going in with a liquid eyeliner. Typically, I don't like liquid eyeliners, but I absolutely love this one. Um, and it's a drugstore brand, brand from Maybelline and is the Masterpiece Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner in Forest Brown. Typically, I like to use pencil eyeliners, but this one is pretty good for a liquid eyeliner and super affordable. Now that I have my eyes done, except for mascara, I'm gonna go in and go ahead and put my primer on. And I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder, the Mattifier Shine Control. I have oily skin, so I like to use stuff that helps with that. And I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay Foundation that I absolutely love, and this pairs well with it. So that leading up to my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. Sorry, it's really messy, but I absolutely love this foundation. Um, it is amazing. Um, definitely one of my favorites for high-end foundation. Um, and also, uh, I wear the color Porcelain 1N0. I'm gonna be using a rounded Vanity Planet brush. For under my eye, I'm gonna be going in with the concealer from Too Faced Born This Way in the color Cloud. So now I'm gonna be using some setting powder from Too Faced Peach Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna be going in with a bronzer now and I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. I got this for free when I bought um, some of my like Christmas collection stuff from Too Faced this year and I'm loving this bronzer. It is beautiful and I think it goes well with my fair skin. Next, I'm gonna be going in with some blush from BH Cosmetics in the BH Cosmetics Truffle Blush Vanilla Cream Palette. I have, not even kidding you, like five, maybe six of these palettes and I absolutely love them. So affordable, they come in a color scheme of four and these are absolutely beautiful. This one goes perfectly with my look today. I'm just gonna go in with this color down here. Now I'm gonna go with some highlighter. You guys know how much I love highlighter. One of my favorite palettes and formulas is from Lorac. And I love this palette, the Lorac Luxe Gold Golden Hour Palette. It has such beautiful colors. Look at all these beautiful colors here. Oh, I love Lorac highlighters. Um, I love Lorac in general, but I'm gonna go in today, um, I think against my cheek, I'm gonna go in with a Bali here. This color here. And then up above my eye look, below my eyebrow, I'm gonna go in over here with Saint Lucia. So now we're gonna go ahead and do mascara and lash primer. I'm gonna be using one from Lancome today that I bought in the 21 Days of Beauty. It was on sale, thought I would try it. Typically, I like to use the L'Oreal Volmanizing Lash Primer and it's super affordable as well. Um, but today I'm gonna be using this one. Next, I'm gonna be going in with one of my favorite mascaras, actually my favorite for the time being, from KVD Vegan Beauty, and it is the Go Big or Go Home. This thing is amazing. I love this mascara. Um, it's just phenomenal. And last but not least, I'm gonna apply some liquid matte uh, lipstick today from Too Faced and it is the Melted Matte in my type. All right guys, I've finished putting on my makeup. I'm gonna go do my hair off camera and then I'll come back and then I will show you guys the finished look. All right guys, I'm back. I've finished doing my hair. If you're curious on how I do my hair, I'll leave a link up above here so you can take a look. But I have finished the hair, so now I wanna show you guys the final product. Thanks for stopping by with Glow with Candace. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button down below. And if you're new here and wanna see future videos like this and more by me, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back on my channel. But until next time, bye.